In the years immediately following their coronation, the two kings and two queens of Narnia devoted much of their time to stamping out the last remnants of the White Witch's army and others still loyal to her. For a long time, there continued to be reports of evil things lurking in the wildest parts of the realm. But their majesties were resolute and pursued every foul being. Peace and security gradually returned to the Narnians. Peter, Edmund, Susan and Lucy, the kings and queens of Narnia, proved themselves to be wise and just lawmakers. They did all they could to encourage hard-working people who wanted to live and let live. They made laws against busybodies and those who would interfere in the affairs of others. And they protected the beauty of the land, preventing many good trees from being cut down in the name of progress. As the four Pevensey siblings became more comfortable and confident in their roles as the monarchs of Narnia, they reached out to other kingdoms. To promote peace and prosperity, they travelled far and wide, making state visits to countries beyond the seas. Treaties and alliances were formed. Trade and commerce grew, and the ambassadors of many lands were received and entertained at the Narnian castle, Care Paravel. In another room, the professor packs his pipe with tobacco before settling into his comfortable chair.